Hi and welcome to Photo Director. Today we're going to look at some of the beautifier tools that are available to us. So let's move into the edit module. Firstly Cyberlink will tell us that a new copy of the photograph will be created for editing. We press OK and we're going to look at the face tools and in particular at the face shaper, at the shine remover and at the eye enlarger tool and we'll have a quick look at the eye bag remover tool and then under the skin tools we'll look at manipulating skin tones. Let's get back to our library and choose the image we want to work with. I'm going to choose this model and we'll re-enter the edit module we'll choose a face tool and we'll choose the face shaper tool. The first thing we notice is that there is a show feature points icon. If we switch it on it will show the feature points that PhotoDirector has chosen to outline the face. If we need to we can move these boundary markers to make sure that the face area that is to be selected and manipulated covers everything that we want. I'm going to turn them off because the effect is easy to see. And then very simply and very effectively we use the slider to change the shape of the face. Let's look at that again. We go from the normal face as shot all the way through to a thinner and more pointed face. Let's settle for something in the middle. And that's how simple it is to change the face of the model. The next tool that we're going to work with is the shine removal tool. And for that we need a different image. So we scroll along our library, we select the image, we don't want to save our changes, and we find that there are two faces that are detected. There are two models. We need to select which face we want to work with. We press OK. I'm going to choose the lady's face. Moving across to the left I'm going to select the shine remover tool. We need to check by using the show feature points that the face is properly selected. We'll switch them off again and then we can remove the shine by using the slider and gradually increasing the slider removes most of the shine and something like that seems to be perfectly acceptable and again that's how easy and effective it is to take the shine from a photograph. The next tool we want to look at is the eye enlargement tool and we'll select a different model again this time. We select our model, we don't want to save our changes. We move into the tools module, open up the eye tools and we're looking for the eye enlarger tool. Let's switch on the feature points to make sure the eyes are properly selected and they are. Let's show the feature points off again and moving down to the slider simply and effectively we can change the size of the model's eyes. With all these beautifier tools we need to be careful that we don't overdo the effect. We can see the before and after effect by moving down below the main screen to the compare before and after. And that shows us the effect of our adjustments on the before and after screen. And that's how you can change the eye size of the model. It's very simple and very effective. Let's leave this model for a minute and look at the eye bag remover tool. To do that we'll choose another model. I'll zoom in a little bit so that we can see the full effect 
of what we're going to do. We move across to the tools module, select the eye bag remover and very straightforwardly we use the slider and we watch as the wrinkles and eye bags fade away. Simple. Let's move on and have a look at split screens and skin tones. It's worth noting that we don't have to have a left-right split screen to compare our before and afters. If we look at the center below the main screen we can do a split of left and right of a single image. And that gives us a useful way of comparing two sides of the face. We have a top and bottom comparison and we have a top and bottom split. And these are all useful depending on exactly which adjustments we are going to use. Our next tool will be to use the skin tone adjustment tool to manipulate skin tones. And to do that we leave the face tools. This module is a little more complicated because we have to use a mask to isolate the skin tone that we wish to manipulate. So what I'm going to do is go down to our single image preview. The key to this module is the proper selection of the mask to isolate the skin tones that we want to manipulate. So we move to our dropper we want to show the mask on the main viewer. We use our dropper to select the skin tone we want to manipulate. And the white areas are the areas that will not be affected and the colored areas are the areas that will be affected by any adjustments we make. If we scroll down the tools module, we can fine tune the skin mask with cleaner and recovery tools. Both these tools can be adjusted for size, the amount of feather and whether to fit to edges. So if we choose the mask cleaner, we'll choose a small size, we will fit to the edges. I want to clean out the teeth here, so I'm going to increase the magnification and as I start to work on it, I can take out the teeth from any adjustment that we need to make. And we can spend time and be as precise as we wish. I'm going to go back, go down to fit again, and that will do us for the time being. The mask recovery tool allows us to do the opposite and bring things into the adjustment field. Having done that, we can now proceed to adjust our skin tones. And as soon as we do that, our mask becomes operative and we can see the whole image. So I'm going to select this foundation. I'm going to do a before and after but I'm going to split it vertically this time and you can immediately see the difference in the skin tone from before to after. If I increase the strength of the skin tone and you look on the right hand side of the split you can see the warming effect, you can see how the warmth increases, we can also play with the tint all these are very subtle. If we choose a lighter foundation, you can see the difference. Again, we can play with the strength and the warmth. And this way, we can adjust the skin tones that are within the mask to give us the effect that we want. So, I go back to that going to increase that to make it a nice pink tone with a degree of warmth. Go to the single image and we have a very different look. So skin tone adjustment is a little more complex but can produce some excellent results. Of course there are many more beautifier tools. If we go back we don't want to save our changes 
We've got our face tools, our skin tools and our body shaper tools. Many of these have been done in different tutorials and the help file can be very useful.